Every TR69 session is initiated by a CWMP endpoint on a CPE. These sessions always occur for a specific reason called an event. All of the events that have yet to be delivered to the ACS are contained as arguments in the inform RPC at the start of every TR69 session. Here is a CD router log of a TR69 session. You can see that the inform sent by the CPE contains an array of type event struct. This array contains one or more event codes that tell the ACS why the CPE is making contact. Here it has one event code, six connection requests, which means that this session was established because of an explicit action from the ACS. More on that later. Let's go through the types of events. The most fundamental is zero bootstrap. This event tells the ACS that the CPE is contacting it either for the first time or because the URL of the ACS has changed. When an ACS receives a bootstrap event, it will often begin a series of initial configuration steps on the CPE. The one boot event is sent by the CPE any time its software has been restarted usually because of a physical reboot. The two periodic event is sent whenever the CPE's periodic inform interval expires. This is used to ensure that the CPE contacts the ACS on a regular planned interval and is controlled through the device's data model using the periodic inform interval, periodic inform time, and periodic inform enable parameters. The three scheduled event is based on the specific use of the schedule inform RPC. The for value change event occurs when a parameter that has been marked for passive or active notification changes. The six connection request event occurs when an ACS uses the special connection request mechanism to trigger the CPE to begin a tier 69 session. The seven transfer complete event occurs when the CPE has successfully downloaded or uploaded a file that the ACS needs to know about. This is most often because of the use of the download or upload RPCs. The 10 anonymous transfer complete event occurs when a transfer completes that was not requested by the ACS, but that the ACS wishes to know about. The 8 diagnostics complete event occurs when the CPE has completed one or more diagnostic tests that are defined in and activated through the tier 69 data model in the CPE. The 9 request download event occurs when the CPE is establishing a session in which it intends to call the request download RBC on the ACS. The 11 DU state change complete and 12 autonomous DU state change complete events refer to the software module management functions enabled by tier 69 and are triggered when a deployment unit, the technical term for an application on the CPE, changes its state, for instance, from installed to uninstalled. The 13 wake up event is triggered when a device that has a low power or sleep mode of operation comes back online. In addition to these events are events labeled with M for method. These events occur in tandem with other tier 69 events to state explicitly that a tier 69 RPC was the cause of the event. These include M reboot, which when paired with the one boot event indicates that the device rebooted because the ACS used the reboot RPC. M scheduled inform, which always occurs whenever the three scheduled event occurs. M download, which occurs with seven transfer complete when a download triggered by the download RPC completes, similarly with M scheduled download and M upload. Lastly, M change DU state is paired with the DU state change complete event when the change was due to use of the change DU state RPC. These are all the standardized tier 69 events. Vendors can define their own using vendor extensions. If any questions about tier 69 or CD router, be sure to check out our collection of training and testing guides at www.qacafe.com/university.